Hello there. My name is Erwin and I have a passion for antique and vintage lenses. When you look at the history of lens making, there have been people making beautifully crafted and high quality optics. Back in the day they would use brass housings and the lens elements were cemented together with a natural resin that was extracted from the balsam fir tree. This grows in Canada only. Some genius found out that this gooey sticky substance has the perfect refractive index equal to crown glass. This fascinates me. Also they were grinding glass without computer calculations. And the images that these lenses are capable of producing can be phenomenal. Unfortunately, these great technical marvels of the past are now collecting dust in cabinets and attics. Forgotten names like the French Hermigis, for example. They made high quality optics and is known only with collectors. This lens here, for example, is a Aplanastigmat. Two identical groups of three elements cemented together with Canada balsam. This one has some separation issues in the front elements, but it doesn't show in the images taken with it. As much as I like these old lenses, I also enjoy photography. So I started experimenting and thinking of a solution to use these lenses on digital cameras. Due to the fact that they are designed for covering plates or a roll film of 6x9, 13x18 cm and even bigger, they will act like tailor lenses when mounted on digital cameras, with their in comparison tiny sensors. What a lens covers is called the image circle. So if a lens covers say 13 by 18 centimeters used on a full frame digital camera, you would only use a tiny portion of the center of the lens as the image circle falls way over the center. This is where my image circle compressor comes in. I've been working on it for the last two years and I managed to use most of the original field of view of lenses ranging from 6 by 6 cm to A4 covering lenses. Here's a shot with the Hermagus without the ICC. And here's one with the ICC. Impressive, right? I'm now addicted to these old beauties. I never use modern lenses anymore. Here's an example of a 6 by 9 centimeter Soviet lens with a focal length of 11 centimeters. This is the shot with no image circle compressor and here with the ICC Pantera in between the camera body and the lens. Nice side effect is that lens get much faster. In the case of this lens the focal distance is now 57 millimeters instead of 11 centimeters. Because the ICC optics move within the adapter for focusing, it can also be used for lenses with much bigger image circle coverage. Here we have an example of the Amo Bush 340mm. This comes from a big wooden box camera. I had to gather a lot of extenders, bellows and focusing helicoids to reach the 340mm. It looks ridiculous. Here's a shot with it, even though it only used a tiny bit of the center of the lens, it does come out very sharp. And here we have it with the ICC. Well, finally I want to show you some photos that I've been taking the last, last year. With the ICC Pantera, testing it. So I've had quite some questions about this ICC on the Facebook groups that I'm on. And that's why I'm, uh, yes, I'm about to make a first batch of ICCs for sales. So if you're interested, check my uh, Facebook page, Fat Cat Image Circle Compressor. 
fat cat with a K.